She is on the path to pop royalty. Lolo Zuai performs dynamic shows. She writes her own hooks that are infused with R&B and electronic beats, and it has a style all her own inspired by her French and Algerian roots. 28-year-old singer's winning over fans with her eclectic energy, and our Phil Lipoff takes us inside the world of Lolo in our latest Prime playlist. From the first note, Lolo Zuai has a crowd of more than 1,200 fans captivated as they sing every word to every one of her songs. New York City's Irving Plaza sold out. Just Lolo and the crowd. They know what song comes next by just a single sound. A hardcore, devoted fan base. About to do my meet and greet. <laughs> I would love to. The 28-year-old born in Paris to a French mother and an Algerian father. And we moved to San Francisco when I was three months old. So pretty much, you know, grew up in America, but with this French-Algerian background. So a lot of different cultures to influence me. Lolo says she always wanted to be famous, even practiced her signature when she was young for autographs. And it was clear early on. She had the talent to match her big dreams, like in this rendition of All I Want for Christmas is You. Graduating high school in 2013, pursuing music, eventually co-writing Still Down. Tell me right now, are you still down? One of the songs on hers, Grammy-winning self-titled album. Then in 2019, releasing her own full-length album, High Highs to Low Lows. Some in the music industry initially comparing her voice and style to Ariana Grande, among others. There were some comparisons, but it was also comparisons to people that I look up to. Her sound, a sultry mix of R&B, pop, and hip-hop, with those French and Arabic influences mixed in. Grabbing attention immediately, Desert Rose. Like Born out of a painful experience, caught between her American and Algerian cultures. I was in New York and I was in the studio at the time working on music and I just posted a photo of myself with the middle finger up like in the studio it was a great photo <laughs> I looked great <laughs> and I just started getting some hateful messages from a family member in in Algeria 21 at the time she canceled a planned trip to Algeria for a family wedding instead sitting down to write Desert Rose the first line Lolo writes from the heart, her lyrics capturing who she is and how she feels. Her writing process different from song to song. So what I do is I just start with a beat or a melody, like on a piano chord progression with some drums, and I'll just go on the mic and um, sing melodies, like for 20 minutes. And then it's the hardest part and my favorite part, the lyrics. And then I'll just sit down on my computer type them away. It can take one day or it can take two weeks. It depends on the song. And But the way that I start it is with a song title. My song titles are kind of silly sometimes, like Gummy Bear. Gummy bear. You're so cute in my gummy bear. A long way away from the first song she ever wrote at the age of six. It was in first grade I wrote my first song called School's Out. Oh, give me some. Okay, it was School's Out. And you know I want to party, school's out, no more working for my teacher. Have fun dancing with your best friend. And if you're married, dancing with your husband. <laughs> Are you serious? And there was a rap section, In too. You wrote a rap for it, too. This is first grade. Ring, the bell rings. Everybody goes out, that's the first thing. Now, out we go. We're going to have fun, that we know. Party at my house, I hope so. I got a sister, got to go. And then, it was like a hit. Honestly, if I recorded it now, 
number one. When you're in first grade, <laughs> how old are you? Five, six? six? Yeah. Working on her writing skills for 22 years, and then a huge opportunity to open for Dua Lipa. With momentum building, a 2022 sophomore album release, Playgirl. Lolo presents Playgirl. www.playgirl.com The title track sets the pace and takes you on a futuristic journey through Lolo's mind with tracks like Crazy Sexy Dream Girl, Blur, and fan favorite, Picking Berries. Do you love songwriting? I do. That's my favorite part of the whole process. It's being in the studio, having that feeling that excitement, like, oh, I'm coming up with this great concept. And it's, it's like a math puzzle. And her fans love every bit of it, not only embracing her as an artist, but also celebrating her French and Algerian heritage as well. I had a show last night in Montreal, and during Desert Rose, three different people brought out Algerian flags. And they were waving, waving the Algerian flag. And when that first happened to me, I started crying because I did not expect it. A powerful show of support as authenticity and honesty are so important to Lolo. Now, laser focused, headlining her own tour, writing new music, never far from her roots, hoping for a full circle moment someday soon. I would imagine you haven't played in Algeria. I have not. I would love Is to. Is that something you'd like to do someday? Yeah, definitely. I apparently have a big fan base there. It would be amazing. I would love to do shows in all of North Africa and Middle East. That'd be sick. I feel like I have a lot of things that I want to accomplish. I still feel like I haven't written my best music and that I have more in me. Oh, Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.